this is gonna be a quick one but an important one so pay attention and watch it till the end and if you have any questions put it put it in the comments all right so i'll try to keep you to the point how to maximize cosmos ecosystem airdrops and also choose the best validators and when it comes to validators it's totally personal everybody have their own opinion and their own preference the way i do it is i see how much they have contributed to the ecosystem and also um, the voting system if their views align with mine's all right so i'm gonna come to that in a second first i would suggest you watch the video which uh, was on feb 7th i'm gonna link it all right where i go over how to stake atom to qualify for airdrops so the basic thing number one stake atom juno and osmo these will uh, make you eligible for most of the airdrops in the ecosystem all right so i suggest and basic kepler wallet that's what i use most of us use all right so follow the video all right and then the first thing you do minimum 25 atom all right i suggest minimum 25 atom you don't have to get all in you can dca all right so 25 atom let's do this 25 atom okay i don't know it doesn't look like an atom and i would suggest we have let's see 50 osmo the basic the minimum could be 25 but 50 is that's what most go with all right i don't know it just looks so nice all right so 50 osmo and also we have juno right so suggest you have at least 25 juno try to get more if possible it never hurts to have more juno you have a lot of things coming even though it's, it's crazy controversial stuff, the Proposal 16, which actually I'm going to talk about. Well, not exactly Proposal 16. I'm going to just mention it's, it's a part of choosing validators, right? So it's, I'm coming to that, all right? Let's finish this. And also to note, there are other network here, all right, other chains. If you want to support them, totally fine, because then you further qualify for, well, other airdrops. For example, I have uh, Huawa staked, right? I don't know, where is Huawa? It's right here. Let me show you. Alright, so you see Huawa. And I have it staked on Cosmo Station. Because you can stake it using Kepler, clearly. They don't have an option yet to stake using Kepler. Alright, so by staking Huawa, that's how I got a huge chunk of sir kerberos if you have noticed my previous video i've created yesterday i believe so right so i had a decent amount of uh kerberos because i staked quite a bunch of um, huawa on cosmos station all right so i'm gonna link all the wallets and whatever i use this cosmos station this Kepler, which is the most common and the most amazing one, all right? And I've discovered also restake.app I'm using for Kerberos, all right? So Cosmos Station I use mainly for Huawa because that's I can use Kepler for that. But Kepler is my number one. If I don't have it and in Kepler, I probably go somewhere else. But then you also have this uh, auto compounding, which is interesting on restake. But you can auto compound if you're using a ledger which is the downside so I'm waiting on a fix all right so let's see first like I mentioned 25 atom 50 osmo all right and 25 juno okay that's that's the minimum bare minimum have that staked and like I mentioned if you want to support the other chains they also somehow airdrop whatever stuff right it could be lucrative there's a lot of things man like just look at the chains that's coming up and these are all in beta support all right, number two, voting. That's one of the interesting one, which is so easy to do, but most people will just ignore. Participate in governance, guys. Look at this. This is Kepler Wallet. All you have to do is click on Cosmos. If you're staking Cosmos, Adam, right? Go to governance. You have voting here, right? So just click on vote. This is the most recent one. Voting end time 22, 3, 30, right? So click on 
vote, and whatever you want to choose. And yeah, that's it. You can you should do this for the rest of the all uh, chains. Osmosis, go to governance, check out the latest uh, proposal they have. And yeah, same thing with Juno. Go to governance right here, right? This this was the proposal 16. <laughs> 40% yes, and there was a crazy 97% turnaround. Turnout, like, just look at it. 68, 58%. This was insane. Crazy, right? 97%. So this ended, it passed, all right? And I'm gonna come to this when I discuss validators, all right? So hang on. First, you gotta stake um, Atom and Osmo and Juno and whatever other Huawei and whatever you want to support, right? Second, vote. Participate in all the governance. It's very simple, all right? Voting comes, it's pretty much there for every um, chain. If, if it's not on Kepler, they will give you a specific link. Just follow them on Twitter, all right? So, yeah, we also have MinScan. You could also use this. This is very handy, all right? I'm going to come to this when I discuss validators. Third, what's third? Third, provide liquidity. All right, I understand it's it's just too much for um, a lot of people. And by the way, I'm not chasing airdrops. I'm just trying to give you guys leverage. And some of the airdrops are lucrative. I just can't keep up with it. And I know it's just it definitely can be helpful for people who are just starting out who could leverage, use this and stay compound and you know build from there. All right, so do your research and take it as it is. So number three. Providing liquidity on Osmosis as well as uh, Juno Swap. They're currently down, and there's a better version. They're working on it. The incentive uh, ha they ha it hasn't been gone live yet, right? So now, when it comes to providing liquidity, I would choose top three. That's my my personal preference. All right. If you if you want to just uh, maximize your gains, then you would obviously chase the APR. You have like crazy 100% APR in some of the uh, pulls. Right, but I'm not gonna discuss that. That's some other day. Maximizing your gains um, with APRs. That's totally different. All right, but here I would do is um, I would do the top three pairs: Atom Osmo, and we have we have Atom Juno. I don't know if you have Atom Juno or Osmo and Juno. All right, these are the most common one here: jo uh, Juno Osmo, Atom um, Osmo. These are the most common one. Luna Osmo, maybe. You know, you don't have to put like significant amount. Or USD Osmo. Some of them um, help you qualify for some further ad drops. All right. This is number three. Not really, really required. But if you just want to maximize, like just want to be on the safer side, you could do this. But the first two, the most easiest one and the most, uh, yeah, the common one. You stake and you vote. All right. And again, this is the third one. Same thing goes with Juno Swap. You provide liquidity on the same um, Juno Atom. You have Juno Osmo. Then, um, yeah, even some of the other pools, they probably will reward you for whatever reason later on. All right. By the way, Juno Primo, I mentioned Primo was a rug pull. <laughs> Watch the previous video. Same thing with Future. It's a rug pull. You see, there's barely any liquidity. Three, I don't know, but even Daisy is a meme coin or whatever that is so there's barely any liquidity i don't know what's happening but they probably will fix this so now discuss the validators because this is an important one as well controversial just a little but it's important because and also it's personal because um the main thing you need to see is if their views align with yours all right easiest way just get on minscan or even kepler i think minscan is the easiest one right now all right, so get on min, min scan, check out the some of the proposals. Right? Guess what? I'm gonna take 16 as an example because it was nuts. 97 person turnout, 40% uh, yes, no veto. So over here, without getting controversial and too deep into it, just go to the validator section, right? Check out the ones who said yes, no, no with veto, abstain. And this will give you a clear understanding who support your views. So if you said yes, then these are the ones who support your views. All right? These are the ones who don't and whatever, etc. You get the point? And again, just don't decide on just one particular proposal. Maybe check out a couple.
All right, that's just one way. Second, check how much they contribute to the ecosystem. All right, personally, these are some of the ones I support. PubMoss, for one, one of the other examples, they're working on something crazy. All right, it, it's, I don't know, whatever that is, it's coming. And if you stake with them, you probably will be rewarded with some airdrops and stuff. All right, this is just a secret alpha. I'm just throwing it out there. All right, and PubMoss is really interesting. What if Zoomy, APY on Juno? Popmoz, good boy, friends. We will always love you, Wolf Contract. Hold on, why am I sounding like Mako? It's a little weird. But yeah, oh, let, me, let me just read one more, please. Let me just read one more. The reserve, the reserve Popli of Popmoz will be look what? Logit and Dow Dow multi-sig hardware controlled. Be trusted community members and how we control be me. This is the fair zig. Man, I'm talking like Scooby Doo. It's crazy. If you, if you remember Scooby Doo. Mwah. Oh, wow. Anyways, PopMoss. Then we have Friends Validator. Interesting one. Your auto compounding value for Cosmos Chains. I support Friends. They're pretty decent. All right. And then they have Earth Plus and. Um, I mean, there are a lot of them, guys. Like literally, just just pick some of the ones. And I'm gonna also um, tell you other factors. All right. So PopMoss, Friends, Earth Plus. You can just choose whoever you want. And there are several others. I would suggest to also stay away from the top ten. Oh, game. Look at game. Man, the game was the dude who's game the system. The airdrops. Crazy. So exactly. That's why you have to pay attention. Some of the validators are very sneaky. They're just doing crazy stuff under the table, guys. All right. So I have no reason to go out of my top four or five. And I like to diversify just a little bit. You don't have to delegate to one validator, all right? You don't have to. I like to split it between four or five max. It depends on how much you're delegating, all right? And over here, um, Stakefish is decent. These, some of them are decent, but again, it depends on their views. If you see it doesn't, uh, you know, if, if they don't align with yours, then you know, it's time to reevaluate and fix it. You can also redelegate. It's simple, which means you don't have to unstake and wait 28 days unbonding period and whatever, and then delegate. It's a redelegate. It's very simple. You just have to go to manage. Well, I don't have any right now, but there's a there's a place where it says redelegate, and then you can do this, All right? So um, a lot of um, projects also um, reward people uh, investors who delegate well outside the top 10 or 25, which makes sense, right? So I, I don't mind. I'm clearly mentioned. Um, these are some of the ones I said. Friends, PopMoss. Uh, and you'll see a lot of others will they start chilling on my channel. That's <laughs> usual. So do your own research on that. There is uh, Larry. I mentioned Larry. Then let's see. Man, there's quite a bunch. Just pick your poison. Red or blue. I'm just trying to give you a few more. And another thing I want to make sure. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, by the way, very important to note. You also have to make sure that they are uptime, 99 person at least. All right, I don't think we can see it here. And stay away from jailed ones. There are several ones that jailed, inactive validators. All right, get an example, figure out what happened. Well, it's not really important. If you stick to the ones I already mentioned, all right, Citadel one is pretty decent. Okay. And uh, yeah, there's not uh, much here, but if I go to Osmosis, this is a good example. I'm gonna show you a few others here, right? So here, Larry's right here, Larry Steakhouse. And I heard uh, Crypto Crew Validators, okay, they're decent. Um, uh, Swiss Staking, Eco Stake, all right? Yeah, I'm not gonna keep naming them for no reason. It's like I'm endorsing. I'm not endorsing any of them. Personally, right now, I'm staked with PopMoss, Friends Wallet, um, Friends uh, Validator. Um, what else? And a couple more. Eco Stake, uh, Swiss Stake, Dispers probably. Yeah. And another important thing to note, like I mentioned, the uptime. Okay. And then also not to forget this one, the commission. Guys, a lot of people confuse this, so I, I think this is very important. Never choose something that's 100%, okay? Because that's like you're getting zero rewards. 
this is not for you. This is the commission the validators take to run the node. It does cost to run a node, the maintenance, right? So I wouldn't suggest to choose anything um, that's zero or even 100%, never. 100%, no. That's like you're not getting anything. So if you're choosing, for example, the centralized exchanges, Binance or Kraken, you, they have 100% because it's just for their clients, not for you, all right? I usually pick the ones that have a 5% to max 10%, all right? And that's where it is. And you'll notice it's just common. Most of them have 5%. The ones I mentioned, um, Friends and PubMoss, 5%, kind of, right? Pretty much everywhere else. So yeah, same thing with this, Restack app. I'm going to link this, um, you know, in the description. Feel free to explore and use them, all right? So yeah, that's all I got for you. The first, you have to stake, all right? Stake the most common the Atom, Osmo, and Juno. And the second was vote, all right? And third, provide liquidity, okay? And the fourth one, I talked about choosing validators and explained that their views, you have to do some research, all right? And it's a little controversial, but that's how it is. You have to check on their views, see, uh, check on their Twitter and see what they're coming up with. And I mentioned that PubMoss is com coming up with an airdrop, so if you stake with them, probably you'll get some juicy stuff. And they're interesting, so, you know? I love their um, contribution. They're working on stuff. Same thing with friends. Uh, check out their activities on Twitter. See what they're up to. All right. Reminder, Huawei APR is still 350 person. They're active. Yeah, exactly. So I'm staking Huawei, and that's how I got a very decent, crazy chunk of uh, Kerberos. All right. This is not a financial advice. Do whatever you want to do. All right. So, yeah, I mentioned that. And also to told you how to choose um, validators with the commission percentage and uptime, right? Yeah, that's all you need to know. And on top, like I mentioned, that if you stay away from the top 10, even top 25, some of sometimes you do get extra reward for whatever reason. And I probably am missing out on, I don't know, whatever. And if I discover, I'll just let you know down the road. Okay, so this is all I have for you. All right, so have a good day, and I will see you in the next video.